Hi, I'm Phil. Hi, I'm Jan. And hi, I'm Naomi. And welcome to The Gaming Table. Today, we're going to look at an amazing game called... Simolo! Simolo is a cooperative game for two plus players where one player takes the role of the clue giver. That player knows the identity of the secret character. The clue giver is the person who is going to be giving a series of picture clues to lead the rest of the players to determine who that secret character is. They do this by placing down cards in one of two ways. If they put down the clue card vertically, it means that the secret character has something similar to the clue picture that's just gone down. If the clue giver places a card horizontally, it means that the secret character has something different to that character. Over a series of five rounds, players will talk and work together to eliminate characters that they do not believe is the secret character. Hopefully at the end, they'll be left with two characters all they have to do is figure out which one is the secret character and win the game. Awesome! And that's how you play Simolo. For us, Simolo has only been a newish game and we've really enjoyed it. Mm. Uh, we only got it about a month ago and we've had lots of plays of it already. Naomi loves being <laughs> yeah. the clue giver, but she also loves being the person working out yeah. with others who, who the secret character mm. might be. We've had lots of fun playing this game and it's so easy to do, uh, to set up, to play, lasts about 10 minutes. It, it's just a great one to have in the house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Naomi, what do you enjoy about the game? I enjoy the, um, it's sort of a detective game, but not really one that you need to solve a crime. It's one that mm -hmm. you need to solve the character. The mystery of the yeah. secret character, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's it's fun when you're working together, mm -hmm. bouncing yeah. off who you think the secret character might be from the clues that have already mm -hmm. gone down, trying to figure out whether that clue is because they're in the same story with our one, which is similar fables. Is it because they're in the same story or is it just because they've got the same abilities? So they might be magic or yeah. they might be small or they might be mm -hmm. an animal. Um, there's all different clues that you can give with just one picture. It's even gone down to games where you've gone, oh, those cards have got similar colours going on in the background. Maybe that's the clue. Yeah, and it really takes it. into account all yeah. your thinking throughout the game. Because it's not just down to who the person is. It can be anything. It could be as simple as the person is wearing a hat or the, yeah. the, the colour of their clothes or that mm. they're an animal or... There's so many different yeah. ways that you can use that card to give a clue and it's all mm. down to the people, isn't it, working yeah. together. It's like a big game of guess who, yeah. basically, yeah. isn't it? That's yeah. what we like about like, it. I remember once I was playing with Daddy and Mum put down a card and then I was glued to someone because it was exactly the two same colours in the background, so I was like, it's definitely Ben, <laughs> but it wasn't. And that sometimes the only problem is you convince yeah. yourself mm. early on that it's someone. Yeah. And then suddenly, oh, hang on, that doesn't quite fit, but it must be them. And so it's really important to look at each clue mm. as it comes around. I mean, that's the good thing for the yeah. clue giver as well. They're listening to everyone talking about who it might yeah. be, who it might not be. And they're able to... Change or yeah, amend or, yeah. You know, play yeah. a card so that actually you know it's definitely not that person mm. because... The um, one that you think it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you so don't take great. out the secret character. Yeah, it's very easy yeah. to teach as well. Mm. This game, it you can teach people in thirty seconds, can't yeah. you? It's a very easy game mm. for you know for people to learn, mm. and particularly for like children your age as well. It's a nice one. Yeah. I like the way um, in the game, sort of from a parent point of view, it's great for making links with things or you know stories or games or films that you've seen before so for example like the secret character could be i don't know the wolf or someone like that Snow with the White. big bad wolf and then if you're putting down someone like red riding hood it's making those links between oh well oh. The, the wolf is a character in red mm. riding hood so it's making those mm. links and comparisons isn't it yeah. you know through you know things that you already yeah, know about like the big bad wolf you could put down three little pigs as well you could the same movie, it's so. all those links isn't it yes. that's the thing between yeah. all the different and they're also stories. animals so yes yeah. two links that's right 
a nice it's, one. It's another game as well that's got fantastic art. The pictures in it oh, are yeah, just are beautiful nice. to look at. Yeah, really yeah. nice yeah. when it's set up on the table, how it looks and yeah. the clues being given out. Mm -hmm all look really good but they are nice yeah. and it's not a big game it's a nice size mm -hmm. not too expensive mm -hmm. it's just a, it's just a yeah. lovely game yeah, isn't it it is mm -hmm. so there are thoughts on similo uh, if you would like to have a go at this game yourself uh put a link down below again to dice and decks where you can go and buy um, any of the versions of the game uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this game too uh, that's all for us uh, from us today at the gaming table and we look forward to seeing you again soon bye, bye.